Hi guys, welcome back to Dublin. I'm actually in the outskirts right now in the mountains. It's called Wicklow Mountains, hiking the Wicklow Way right now, but I'll catch you up on the last few days because I've actually been here a few days now. Uh, I think like three nights, so I got in three nights ago, let's say. And then the next day, um, pretty chill since I've been in Dublin before. I wasn't like trying to see, you know, the whole city or anything. I think I saw most of it. But um, anyways, so the first day here uh, had a slow, easygoing start. There was actually another couch surfer staying with us um, at one of my hosts I was at from uh, before. So that's cool. Um, made some chocolate banana cake, which is really good. Had that. Walked around the city a bit. Um, ended up back in like Temple Bar neighborhood and saw a little bit more of that that I hadn't seen before, which again is a really like cool area of town. And I actually ended up getting a tattoo, which I never thought I would get, but um, I had an epiphany like the day before or something. And I don't know, this like feeling just came over me and I was like, I never wanted anything, but it just popped into my head. And so I had mentioned to you guys before this word here, um, crack. That's like this Irish phrase, which is so hard to explain, but when you've been here, you, you understand and you feel it and you know what it means. And anyways, I love the crack here and I was just like feeling it. So um, I got it, it's small on the inside of my foot. I'll show you guys in a little bit. But anyways, that was like totally out of the blue. So I did that and then um, later on went with my host. His dad was actually doing this walking tour of the canals. Um, gives you a little bit of history and saw some other parts of the city where they take you around like just different canals and tell you about what's there, what used to be there, like Bono's, Grandma's, Piano, or something like that. A lot of other stuff. Um, anyways, so, and I actually saw this guy trying to steal a bike. He didn't get away with it, which is really stupid. It was like daylight and a bunch of us were standing around. But anyways, that was interesting. So that was the first day. And then yesterday, um, a few of us went, actually did a couple hikes. So did one hike earlier in the day which was from Bray to Greystones, which are basically like areas right outside of Dublin city. Really, really pretty hikes. Like both were really beautiful and awesome. It kind of goes around this, the bay, like around Dublin. And so you just have these amazing views. You can see the whole city and the water and the mountains are green. Actually, there was this area by when we were like walking towards Greystones that actually had a forest fire so a lot of that up there was burnt which is very rare for Ireland but as you guys know this summer has been crazy everywhere is getting warmer weather than usual um, so that was a really pretty hike we did in the morning and then later in the afternoon did another hike to Hoth which is like the uh, north side yeah north side of Dublin there's this other hike around like the other part of the bay and anyways just getting like really pretty views you can see a lighthouse over there um, and then there's like some islands across the way you can see from there too. And later on you kind of come down to where there's a harbor and a lot of boats. And later we stopped for dinner. I had my first actual like real traditional Irish meal because last time I was here I was not really eating out. So it was like a Guinness meat pie, I think it's called. Like a stew pretty much. Anyways, it was good. And then that was yesterday, I think pretty much. So today, again, since I've seen Dublin now before, I'm trying to do more of like surrounding areas and hikes and outdoors, stuff I missed last time. So another area I'd heard about that's really pretty is called Wicklow Mountains, where I am now. So doing part of this hike, it's called the Wicklow Way, which is supposed to be 11 miles. Um, the first like part of it though, is just kind of hiking, hiking, walking through parks and stuff until you get to the actual trail and then there's like this gravel road and this whole thing so we haven't been on the actual trail like too too long but anyways um I think the whole trail goes 100 something miles or kilometers we're doing 11 of it and then at the end um so we started in Marley Park and we're going towards what's the name of it um I don't think it's coming to me right now Glen I want to say Glen Cove that's not it Anyways, we go to this area of town where there's actually this pub called Johnny Fox's, like at the end of this part of the trail. Um, so that's the goal. I think we should make it there.
hopefully before it gets dark. And, oh, and then the Pope's actually here. So he got in today, I want to say. Not yesterday, but a bunch of the roads were blocked off because of the Pope. Um, and, like, a bunch of people are out selling flags and banners and things like that with the Pope. Didn't see him myself, but uh, made, us, uh, made it a lot harder to find a bus earlier today because... Um, just anyways everything's like redirected and changed because of the pope and i guess they're doing i don't know gonna drive through do a parade or something like that anyways let me show you the view um while i'm up here it's pretty awesome as usual so you can see back this way lots of green rolling hills pretty nice and then there's this nice beautiful little rock trail going that way and then way back there you can see like the city and there's also like all the waters towards the right of that you just can't really see much right now but yeah this is where i'm at currently so um that's pretty much it for now oh yeah let me show you before i forget a little tattoo i got simple sorry mom I know you don't like tattoos but anyways it's small and very uh, hidden so um, yeah that's pretty much it tomorrow I'm still deciding where to go I'm gonna go somewhere south maybe Cork but if not I'm also thinking Kilkenny or Waterford Ford. Um, but I will fill you guys in probably in a couple more days from wherever I end up talk to you soon bye